CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. So now that I have the QR code in the web interface for my camera, I need to scan it into the mobile app. Here I have the mobile app already installed on my iPhone, so I need to tap on the app to open it. If it doesn't take you to the home screen already, you will need to go through the splash screens and we don't recommend making an account because that will bind it to the app that you've added it to and it can make it difficult to share the camera with other people. It's much easier to just have them do and follow this same process. So they would also not make an account when they go through their splash screens and then finally get to the home screen. So to add a camera using the QR code method, I would need to tap the plus icon choose the SN slash scan option. Now it may ask you for permission to use your phone, in which case you will need to click the allow button. And then you need to navigate your camera up to the QR code in the web browser. Now that was particularly fast. And I'll do it again just to show you. So I've got the QR code in the web browser, I accessed the web browser in my camera by following the previous video by entering in the IP address logging in and then navigating through the setting and then the network settings and then the access platform page. So here you can see that serial number listed here in the app after I scanned it. Our cameras don't have security codes. So we click the next button or tap the next button. And then mine just so happens to be a wired camera. If you're adding a wireless camera, you would choose the wireless camera option. Or if you're adding a recorder, you would of course choose the type of recorder that you have. Or if you have a PTZ camera, you could add it as a PTZ camera. So I'm going to tap the wired camera option. It lists my serial number there. And then back on the picture page, you might also notice a manual button. So if your phone camera is unable to scan the code correctly, then you could manually type in the serial number that's listed or the S slash N that is listed in the web interface need to give the camera a name. So I'm just going to name it office cam. And then I need to type in the password. So the, the, again, this is the default password. It's a secure default password for the admin user for our cameras. And then last but not least, I would need to tap the save button at the top right hand side. So as long as the camera has an internet connection, and you've entered in the username and password correctly, and then you've given the camera a name, then you should get a green check mark. And then you can leave the UPnP option selected as that improves the performance. If you are unable to access the camera, make sure that the camera does have an internet connection and that you have an online status on the P2P page inside of the web interface. So I'm going to tap the completed button at the bottom. And then it's going to pull up video from my camera. And it is the office camera looking at the ceiling. Hopefully this video helps you add a camera using the QR code. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.